And so, after taking a look at the ghost light, we're going to take a look at this. So what do we got? This is the EFSF scout ship. Uh, original, I know. Um, it was the end of 2.5, if you will, or Gen 2.5. Uh, completely asymmetrical interior and symmetrical exterior, which was kind of cool. And I just wanted a scout ship, so I built it. I mean, I think I think you featured this in a video, so it, we, I don't think we need to, you know, hang out on this for too long. Okay, what's the next one then? Well, now let's go to the winged one, the Ornithopter, which is my personal shuttle that takes up way too much room. Um, on any planet I land on, but I do that just to be mean. Because why not, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a fun little thing to build. And then I think, yeah, right behind it is kind of the intro, uh, kind of funny. I built this today between or uh, during the lineup review <laughs> part one. <laughs> While we were doing the lineup, we built this. Well, you know, it, it's more of like a shuttle. It's got two tiny little guns in it. I don't know what it's called. I just kind of called it my shuttle with a gun. Again, original. You know, gotta gotta love it. Nice. Uh, all right, so I guess we'll move on to right over here to the EFSF. Art or artillery mech, which has been named the Nova Panzer in the Imperium. Yeah, this one's a fun one. Um, it's in. Uh, we did a, on the 12 hour live stream, we did a few mech battles, and this is the one that came out on top anyway, which was kind of a bit of a boost to the ego. Not that I need that. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to be honest here. You know, I, I understand. I don't need that. So what's and that then, right. <laughs> what's up next? Uh, the dropship for it, carrying one. Um, kind of a cool design. It's like a stingray mixed with a PT boat. Low on shields and everything else, but it moves pretty quick. It's meant to just get in, drop a mech off on a planet, and get out before it dies. The before it dies part is the tricky part. Nice. And then we'll get on to the semi-well-known ships of mine, I guess. The EFSF Centurion. And I'm sure you know which one that is. Oh, that's one of my favorites, yeah. Yeah, this is the Mark II. It has a bigger turret. Um, actually, the turret was provided by um, ZeroSun. So thank, I'll thank him for that. But yeah, it's a fun, fun ship to fly. It's the complete refit. The old version is... Uh, not quite so, so good. <laughs> it's slow, sluggish, low shields and everything. This one, not so much. There you have it, there's the Centurion. So what's next? Next up is the uh, Super Helix. Yep, I've seen this one. It's yep. Um, Actually, I think it's the Helix that's more famous. We've got that one right next to it, so we can kind of take a look at them at the same time. The Astute Observer will notice that this one has a much longer pointy nose. And that's where, you know, a couple D1000s are hiding. And they, they do their job. It's fun. And then obviously you say we have the Helix. Yep, the blue command version right here. This is my personal one. For the Imperium. These were fun builds. These were like two day builds, I think. Built the first half and we got the general shape and all the, most of the systems laid out the first day and then the second day I went back and did a lot of the coloring. And I think the last of the fighter line, or, you know, small ships, is the Argus shuttle. Which is the one right here. It's nothing particularly special, but it's really kind of hard to see in the Argus, so I figured I'd keep it here. Mm. Yeah. In the com 
It's a nice little shot. Yeah. Well, it has to be. You'll you'll see why. <laughs> the Argus's hanger is. I hesitate to even call it a hanger by my standards. So there we have that section. I'm just gonna run past them real quick. All right. I gotta admit, I love I, that I can see four cheddars and a Swiss in the background. That's awesome. Oh yeah, you can <laughs> just about see them. Just barely. How far away are they? Uh, 1700 meters. Wow. Yeah. Schema power. <laughs> so what's next then, buddy? Next up is the ship that I plug no matter what, it seems. The Naviri cargo variant. A very cargo variant. I don't remember if we did a video of this in the new build, but either way, this is the cargo variant of the Naviri. It's we've already proved that the Naviri is fast, and now it carries stuff. So you know what's not to not to lose. It's like Amazon Prime. That's what this thing is like. Two day shipping, no matter what. <laughs> It's a... familiar with the Naviri, that was released just recently. So uh, mm -hmm. and we have seen it in various stages. Yep. So what makes and this the cargo one... variant the cargo variant? I assume these pods on the side. Yep, that's part of it. Um <laughs> I don't Yeah, I'll go ahead and I don't I'll pop this stuff. Don't worry. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So we've got a buttload of storage. Not only that, but it's also got 200,000 shields. Oh, nice. So Your package secure, is safe with us. Secure containers. On top of that, there's actually, uh, so these would be what you'd call the bulk storage, right? Yep. Uh, carrying the mo most of the goods, but you can also, yeah, I see. If, you, if you have the dodge, yeah, yeah, yeah. carry, you can rent out a private or personal one that are in the regular hangers. Got it. I'm seeing them. So yeah. That's pretty much all that really changes this. The The interesting thing about the Naviri is because it doesn't have any weapons other than its turrets, but it has a lot of spots to dock things. Um, and it has the ability to dock a lot of different things. There, You can make a lot of different variants of the Naviri that do different things all based on what the loadout is, which is a concept that I really like. So I've actually got a strike variant, which has the um, sparrows on the back, which a lot of people have seen. And so they've also got combat drones, because why not? But I figured this one's the, this one's probably my favorite. <laughs> I don't know why this one's my favorite. It just kind of is. Yeah, yeah. Very fun. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's more than just another battleship, which is really nice. Speaking of battleship, is that what's next to me? Uh, uh huh. Okay. The next. Uh, wait. You're. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think you're over here by the Argus. Yep. This is the EFSF mainline battleship Argus. And she's just had her her exterior or her interior rather, just about completed. And actually, if you look right above it, is <laughs> the original Argus. What? <laughs> That's what it started as. <laughs> <laughs> like no lie. That's what the Argus used to look like, and then it kind of. Great. Yeah, little bit. But yeah, this one is worth taking a tour of now that the interior is finished. I was actually going to wait on doing this. What is this you know. last ship in their line? Um, actually, this is pretty much the last one. I've got two work in progress down there. But okay. that's more like a flyby thing, because I think we've seen those before. I think what we should do, on in the interest of time, is give this one its own video. Alright, I'm good but, with that. Uh, if you are watching this, of course, thank you ever so much for watching this long. And uh, if you want to see this ship in a little bit more detail, it's going to be covered straight away. So uh, we're only splitting it up due to the fact that we're running out of our time. 
So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the next one. We'll be looking at the Argus. So.